Alright, what's poppin'? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to mod Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with the Yuzu emulator. Now, this process is basically very simple. Which can either be Yuzu or Ryu Jinx, or you can try this on your custom firmware. Since trying this on the emulator is probably the most popular way, I'm going to showcase you guys how to do that. And basically, what I'm showcasing you guys also apply with a, a custom firmware switch. So, first things first, we're going to be at game banana, gamebanana.com. Like I said earlier, I'll leave in the description down below, and we're basically going to pick any mod we want. Um, I'm going to pick the most popular one, which is the reshade appearance, because it makes the game look uh, much more better. And then what we do here is you're going to usually have a place where you manually download right here to come as a zip. And then we're going to download it. Then we're going to open it up. Right here, this is the mod. Usually, we need to make a ROM FS folder, but I don't know, this is my first time trying this. But if so, if it doesn't work, we're gonna need to create a ROM FS folder because that's how Yuzu and Ryu Jinx usually reads um, mod folders. So just to be safe, if it doesn't work, you gotta create um, a separate folder, ROM FS, and then we're gonna drag and drop everything inside ROM FS for the emulator can read it better. But we're gonna try it without ROM FS first, see if it works. Let's see right here. All right, so we're gonna left click it. Um, where's the mod folder? There you go. Right there, I'm gonna drag and drop it. Now let's see if we can read it. No, it does not read it. So we have what we basically have to do is create a ROM FS folder. ROM FS. Alright, so what we do here open the mod section. So I'm gonna take this whole thing out. And we see shaders and tags, so let's put it right there. I'm going to drag and drop it right there. And then there you go. Now that's how you basically get it to work because I know in some of these um, mods in Game Banana, uh, sometimes they tend to forget to put the ROM FS folder because some of these mods are basically, some of them are intended for a custom firmware switch, but for it to work on um, Yuzu, you're going to need to make a separate ROM FS folder. Um, the same thing I showcase you guys, that's what you basically have to do. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's very simple and easy. Um, one thing I cannot show gameplay of it this working. If so, the video will get claimed because that's how Nintendo works when they do anything that's modding or anything that's showcasing you guys. Basically breaking the game <laughs> and you show gameplay, that's their cue to claim that part of the video. So for me to avoid that, I basically need to avoid showing gameplay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Birds on